Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning the week of August 20th through August 26th and this week is actually going to be a memory spread and if you are not sure what that means, it just basically means that this week is already over. Um, today is September 2nd and um, I'm just going to be going back in to fill out all the things that I did during this week and I have everything written down on the notes app of my phone so that's what I reference usually when I do memory spreads such as this one. So this week was the first week of school. As some of you know, I work at a school and Tuesday was the day that the kiddos came back. So I have a really cute kit to use. But before I go into that, uh, for those of you who have been watching my channel, um, you know that I usually use this planner, my Erin Condren, to track all of my work to do's and everything. Like this is my main planner. Um, but for this year, I decided I'm going to be switching things up a little bit because I realized that this planner wasn't quite as functional as I wanted it to be, um, especially keeping track of all my work stuff because things get changed around so much that um, I end up having to like put post-it notes on my computer, on my planner to keep track of like meetings that were added, meetings that were canceled or rescheduled. And for this planner, because I wanted to keep it so pretty with all my stickers, I didn't want to have to um, change anything up even if things were changing in my schedule. So I hope that kind of makes sense. Um, but basically for this year, I'm going to move all of my to-dos into a separate planner. So I'm going to show you that really quick. Um, so this is a planner that I got for work this year and I just picked this up at Target and the back is just you know, also plain and it's from Ashley G for blue sky. So that's the brand. I had never heard of it, but, um, I just kind of thought this would work for what I need. And basically, um, it's super simple. It actually comes with some stickers in the front, which I thought was really exciting. Um, I can't show you the current week that we're on because I've pretty much already started filling out work things, um, for the school year, but I can show you the July monthly and the weekly spread so that you can at least see what the planner looks like. So this is the monthly, very basic. I have already just it down pretty much all my meetings that I know of for the year already so that's nice and then the weekly looks like this and what I love about it is that Monday through Friday are kind of the main focal points and Saturday and Sunday are um, don't take up too much space which is perfect because I'm only using this planner for work and I'm not using any stickers it's strictly just pencil only so how I use this is that I use these top two boxes to track all my meetings so any meetings in the morning I put in this box and any meetings in the afternoon I put in the second box and then the bottom box the third one is just using for to do's. So I just jot down all my to do's. And again, everything's in pencil. So it's super fluid. I can always take things out or add on if needed. And there's just not the pressure of having to make it look super nice. And that has worked out pretty well um, the first couple weeks into the school year. So this is what I'm planning to do for this year, um, which means that my planning style will change a little bit in my Erin Condren. So I'm still planning to mark some work-related items like, um, for example, minimum day or even my IEP meetings, just because those are kind of um, the big part of my job. So I will have some work things, but it won't be like it was before because I have my other planner to keep track of everything else. So um, that's the plan for this school year. We'll see how it goes. I might have to switch things up um, in the middle of the year, which is perfectly fine, but I just want to let you guys know, especially those of you who have followed me for a long time and kind of know my planning style. Um, but anyways, I know this intro is kind of long. Um, this week I chose a super cute kit to use since it's the first week of school and I work at elementary schools. Um, I thought this cutesy kit would be really appropriate. Um, it's from Let's planet and this is oh I don't think it says the name on it but it has lots of cats in space which I think is adorable so we've got a sheet of glitter headers date covers and date dots we have the full boxes text stickers icons checklists we have headers little things sidebar trackers um, half boxes we have the square corner and round and corner kinds we have quarter boxes appointment labels um, I almost said heart checklist but they're square checklists and the bottom washi and lots of icons. So this is a very, very full kit. I will definitely have tons left over, I already know, um, but that will give me lots of stickers to work with and um, let's just jump right in. Because my intro was so long, I decided to speed through this next section of putting down my bottom washi, my side quote box, and then the date covers at the top and I used everything that came in the kit. Once I'm done placing down all of that, I move back to my sidebar and I first started by putting down a glitter header with a habit tracker to track working out. The little shoe stickers I put down came in the kit. 
Then I used a happy moment sticker from Paper and Milk and I placed that over a Monday through Sunday tracker for my happy memories of the week. And then at the bottom, I put down a meals header with the other Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners for the week. Starting on Monday, I first put down this today header at the top, which I do later switch out. And then I found this but first coffee sticker from the kit that I think is so adorable. I really love all the tech stickers that are included. I then used a scallop label with a computer to mark some things that I was working on at work. And then I wanted to mark that we got um, catered lunch that day. It was the day before school started, so the PTA was super kind and catered the lunch for us. So I put that on a half box with a salad sticker from Plans with Vanessa. I then put down a full box and then decided that I wanted to switch out the color of the scallop because the full box is already that beige color. Um, so I switched it out for that bluish color instead. And then on the full box, I pretty much worked on reports for the remainder of the afternoon. So I wrote that with my brush lettering pen. I believe that was the Tombow Fudenosuke. And the laptop sticker I put down is from Sticker Blush. When I got home, I did a lot of cleaning that day, so I put down a header and then layered the clean tech sticker over it. I cut down a um, square checklist into three squares to mark the things that we got done, and then I used a koala cleaning sticker from Kiki May Designs. At the end of the night, we just watched TV, so I put down a quarter box and then wrote in Terrace House, which was the show that we were watching this week. This is where I switch out the header on the top for a glitter header instead. Then for Tuesday, Tuesday is the first day of school. So originally I wrote that on this beige half box. I do later switch it out because I found the cutest backpack sticker that I wanted to use. And then I put down this full box with the cheering cat in space. I thought that was perfect to mark the first day of school. To me, the cat is like waving the flag saying, you got this, which is kind of how I felt. So then um, I put down a coffee sticker from Planner Perks and I didn't like the way that I wrote coffee and I whited it out and tried to write it again and still didn't like it. So I ended up doing the trick that I frequently do, which is just writing um, what I want on like the corner of the kit where there's white space and then just sticking it down as a sticker. Moving on, I put down a pink scallop label with a taco eating cat sticker from Laven Forest to mark that my coworkers and I got some Mexican food for lunch that day. And then um, I had a meeting that afternoon, so I used a quarter box with a meeting script sticker from Nightingale Paper Co. And that cute little pencil sticker, I believe, is from Little Star Plans. After I got home, I decided to consolidate everything that I did on this checklist. And so I put down a glitter header with a four heart checklist. The edit sticker was from Love for Stickers, which is no longer open. And then one of the things I did was I worked out that day. So I put down a working out girl from Paper Princess Plans. This is where I go back up to Tuesday and decided I really wanted to put this adorable pink sticker on the half box, but I couldn't find a good spot to do it. So I rewrote first day of school on a new half box, which is pink, and then I was able to put down that backpack sticker, and I think it turned out really cute, so I'm glad I did that. On Wednesday, I started by putting down a today header at the top. Um, I used a quarter box with a upload sticker from MJ and Hope, but I do later switch that out because I forgot that Wednesday was my sister's birthday, so I needed to mark that instead. Then I used an emoji from the Coffee Monsters code to mark that I checked in on all of my fun friends at work, and um, I put down a half box to mark a meeting. The paper clip bow sticker is from Planner Frenzy, and then, like I said, I ended up removing the upload sticker, and then I put down a cupcake from Lily Grove Designs instead to mark my sister's birthday. When I got home, I did a workout, so I used the yellow scallop label with the Time to Sweat text sticker from the kit, and I just thought, again, those text stickers are so adorable. I put down a full box at the bottom, and then on top of that, I used a three heart, or I'm sorry, a three square checklist. I'm so used to saying hearts um, to mark some things that I did when I got home. Um, my boyfriend actually cleaned the house super thoroughly when I was at work, so I came home to a really, really clean house, which was really nice. So I ended up cooking that night, and I used a cooking sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that. And then later that night, I decided to take a bath, which is something that I don't do very often at all. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I did take a bath. Um, I put that on a quarter box, and that cat in a tub sticker is from Echo Hui Craft Co. And then I wrote in bath with my, I think it's my Tombow again. 
Then moving to Thursday, I started by putting down a glitter header at the top. I then used a two square checklist. Oh my gosh, almost said hearts again. Um, I used a two square checklist to mark some things that I got done at work. And I put down a tiny little laptop from the kit, which fit perfectly in that spot. I had my first IEP meeting of the year. And if you're new to my channel, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students in special education. Um, so I do attend those quite regularly just as part of my job. Um, I used a half box with an IEP sticker from Lily Grove Designs to mark that. And then underneath, I put down a full box. Um, I used a half box on top of that to mark that we scheduled all our meetings for the year, which we, we tend to do so that we know exactly when the meetings are going to occur. And then I put down this big planner sticker from Echo Hui Craft Co. because that's exactly what we look like with all of our agendas spread out um, scheduling our meetings. That night we did a sushi date, so I used that sticker from Love Shira, but unfortunately I was in a really, really grumpy mood on Thursday, so the date didn't turn out very fun. I was just um, really stressed with the new year starting and there was already a ton of things happening, um, so I was just not in the best mood. So to mark that, I used the Not Today sticker with a quarter box and then that kind of annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. To try to make myself feel better, I went and got some ice cream at Rite Aid. Um, the ice cream sticker is from Very Cute Designs. And then at the bottom, I used a laptop from the Sparkly Studio to mark that I just had some me time at the end of the night watching some YouTube videos and just trying to um, elevate my mood. So I realized that everything was a little bit squished at the bottom and so I readjust and try to space everything out nicely. Then moving to Friday, I started by putting down a full box at the top and I chose the one with the cat doing ballet on purpose because I think it's so cute to mark Friday. Like she looks like she's super excited and doing a dance. I also put down the Frinally text right over it and I really Really like how that looks. Um, I definitely needed coffee on Friday and I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from Fox and Pip to mark that. I then put down a glitter header with a three square checklist to mark the things that I got done at work. And I used this little girl on a laptop sticker from Let's Plan It. And that's pretty much what I look like most of the time at work when I'm doing reports and things like that. Um, but anyways, when I got home, I did a workout. So I used a yoga girl sticker from Sun Fun Stickers. And because we had a pretty disappointing date night the night before, we decided to redo it. I was in a much better mood on Friday. And so it was a good time. Um, we went and got some Korean food, so I put down a Korean food sticker from Plans with Vanessa. We also went to pick up some groceries just because it was in the same little shopping mall. And then at the end of the night, I got to FaceTime with my parents. So I cut off one of the like to-do boxes on an ombre checklist, and then I used the phone sticker that came in the kit. For the weekend, I start by placing down the weekend banner at the top, and then on Saturday, I decided it would be a lot easier to work backwards because then I know exactly how much space I have to mark different things. So at the bottom, I put down a full box with a um, glitter header on top, and then above that, I used a half box, and I knew what I was going to mark in those areas. And so um, once I had that set, I moved back to the top. I started the day by having some Japanese milk tea, which was really good. So I used a boba sticker from Plans with Finesse, even though my milk tea did not have boba in it. I then put down a quarter box with a YouTube binge sticker from Love Shira. Then we watched some TV and it's a show that we are obsessed with. It's called Hyori's Bed and Breakfast. And I hope I'm saying that right because I totally butchered it last time and one of my subscribers was super sweet and taught me how to say it correctly. So hopefully that's a lot better. And then we went and did some errands. So I used a to buy header with a two square checklist. The credit card sticker is from the Sparkly Studio. On the half box, I marked that it was our friend's birthday. So Saturday night, we celebrated his birthday by going out and grabbing dinner and drinks. Um, the balloon stickers are from Me You Design. And then um, for the end of the night, to mark where we went, I decided to use this uh, square checklist because it had the exact amount of like squares to mark everything. But I realized that it was a little bit short uh, for the full box, so I made some adjustments there. I was having a really hard time cutting the full box with my slice exacto knife and usually it doesn't give me a hard time but for some reason it was just not working out that day and um, because it took up less space than I anticipated I was able to shift everything down I added an item to my to-do list so that it would take up the um, remaining space and then back to the bottom I filled out all the places that we went to celebrate our friend's birthday and then because we got a ton of beer I put down a beer sticker from once more with love 
Then moving on to Sunday, I started by putting down a glitter header with a full box. I really didn't do much on Sunday morning. I think we just relaxed and probably slept in, woke up late. And so I layered the Lazy Day text sticker right over it, just like I did on Friday. And then I did do some filming and editing. So I put that on a half box. And then that Edit Cat sticker is from Sweet Ava's Paper. I then worked out on Sunday, so I put that on a scallop label with a shoe sticker from Simply Laura Paper Shop. And then uh, for a good chunk of time in the afternoon, I just did a YouTube binge. So I put down this huge girl laptop sticker from Planner Perks to mark that, and it perfectly took up quite a bit of space, which is what I wanted. And then we went and did some groceries Sunday night. I put that on a little um, checkbox that I cut off from a checklist. And at the end of the night, we watched more TV. So I used a TV sticker that came in the kit to mark that and that marks the end of my spread. Um, as usual, I go back to my sidebar at the very end and track all of the things that I did that week. My new goal coming back from vacation is to work out at least five times a week. It's been probably three weeks now or four weeks and I've been doing really well, so I'm really proud of myself. So anyways, once I finish filling out everything in my sidebar, I zoom out and now I'm showing you guys the stickers that I have left. I have quite a bit left as anticipated because this was such a full kit, but again, I will add it to my leftover pile and do a giveaway um, in a couple weeks so be on the lookout for that anyways this is how my spread turned out um, again I think this kit was so perfect to mark the first week of school um, it's been quite a bit of a rough transition but I'm slowly getting more and more used to it anyways I hope you guys really enjoyed this let me know if I've forgotten to mention anything um, as usual thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye